One of our projects for this year was to uh, add a third witch to our witches scene. And uh, we've been adding a, one each of the last two years. We started with the first one, uh, Witch Stirring a Cauldron. And then last year we added uh, another real big witch uh, with some head movement on her. And this year we wanted to add a third one. But we wanted to add one with a little bit more dramatic um, movement. So uh, this is what I've come up with. This will be a flying witch, and uh, inspiration for this prop and, and uh, some ideas on the build. Uh, uh, Pat from Dead Things uh, built a flying witch for this year, and uh, Ron from Halloween Overload um, built a similar type uh, contraption to this uh, for his clown prop last year. So I kind of took uh, ideas from both of them and put this together. Now, one of the uh, objects for, for mine, as you can see, this is a very large prop all built up, and uh, I wanted to be able to disassemble it uh, and uh, make it easier to store. So, um, using a combination of welding, the, the base is all welded, and, um, and then some of these brackets, which have yet to be built or uh, welded on, um, so far they're just bolted for, for test purposes, those uh, brackets will be welded on as well as these holding up the stand. They will be welded on, but I'll be able to take the bolts out there and take the whole upper assembly off and store it away. Remove the cylinder, it'll fall all fold up and uh, won't take much room to store at all. Now what I'm using here is a inch and a half bore cylinder, 12 inch throw, universal mounts, um, I'm using flow controls on uh, both of uh, both ends of it there so that I can individually dial in how fast it goes up and how it goes down. And uh, this bracket here still needs to be welded on. That'll be welded. And uh, once I get that welded, I will uh, be able to eliminate the little bit of bounce that I'm getting on this at the top of the... You see that little bounce so as a result of that bracket right there not being solidly affixed. So uh, once that gets welded on, I won't have that problem. Now I did extend this lead part down so that uh, when it has weight on it, it'll go down there and set, relieve some of the tension off of the, uh, the upright and off of the cylinder. Now I've got this dial down, as you can see, I'm using less than 50 pounds of air pressure on that to get this up. And of course I don't have the, the witch on the front, but she'll be added. Very lightweight, a little bit of PVC, and uh, some chicken wire, a little aluminum bracing, a foam head, and a mask. And then uh, she'll be holding a little broom, and we'll install a fog machine so that when the prop fires and she takes off, we'll have uh, fog coming out as well uh, to add another level to it. Now a couple of the changes I did make originally I had this lower bar and the top bar both with uh, one inch square tubing and uh, you can see there on the side the bottom one and in, in an effort to uh, reduce weight I uh, replaced uh, both that bottom rung and the upright here with half inch electrical conduit. Um, most of the work is being done by that top bar so I've left that one inch square tubing but the electrical conduit if it'll hold up I'll stay with that It'll allow me to reduce the air pressure a bit. And one other thing I didn't do I knew that this was going to be an issue would be to get this to fire off initially get the the first couple inches of raise so I have added a spring to this side and it also balances out the pull. You can see I just bolted that to the side, which tends to torque that around just a little bit. And that spring seems to help balance that out just a bit. So, uh, 
There it goes. Again, that bounce will be gone once that bracket is fixed. And uh, currently I just have it uh, hooked up to a four-way, five-port solenoid uh, 110, which I'm uh, controlling with a little wireless um, controller here. But this will ultimately be a 12-volt cylinder. And those are quarter-inch ports, not the eighth-inch to maximize the air. And uh, will be controlled by one of my pickaxe uh, prop controllers. So there it is for now. Um, I'll need to go back and now that I've got all the design fixed up and get all my pieces welded in and uh, then as soon as my mask comes in I'll be able to complete the front end of it. Um, I did uh, originally design the, the measurements on this uh, using the four bar lifter um, program and uh, I'll include a link to that in the comments section so that you can go and, and design your own. Now, there she is. She'll raise up over 10 feet and uh, should provide quite a few scares on Halloween. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.